Hey everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial on how to play Sophie by Bears Den. Uh, I found a couple of chords online and also some tutorials on here but I figured that neither of the versions sounded exactly like the original song so today I wanted to show you how the song is actually played. Uh, the thing is that we're in open D tuning uh, which is the reason why the chords sound so special and why the regular chords do not sound exactly like the original. Um, open D tuning, what does that mean? So if you do have a tuner, the notes are going to be D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Okay? Um, so when you strum all the chords open, you have an open D chord. Okay? Um, if you don't have a tuner, you can take your low E string, so you, you pluck the D string, and then the open low E string and tune your low E string down a whole step so it's the octave of um, the lower octave of the D. Then you have the A and the D, st D string which stay the same. Um, the G string is tuned a half step down to an F sharp. You could either do this by putting your finger onto the fourth fret on the D string and then tune the G string to the same sound. Or you could also do it by doing a harmonics um, on the 9th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the G string, okay? And they should sound the same, alright? Um, after that we need the B string a whole step down, either by tuning it to the higher octave of our A string, okay? So they should sound the same, just an octave higher. Or you could also put your finger onto the third fret of the G string, which is now the F sharp string, so to speak. Um, so, okay, so third fret of what is now the F sharp string, and open B string should be the same sound. And last but not least, we need our high E string tuned down to the higher octave of the D string, okay, so you can pluck the D string and then the high E string and then tune it down so it sounds the same like in my case, okay. Um, or you could also put your finger onto the fifth fret of what is now the high A string and tune your high E string down a half step, okay, just as usual. Alright, so now that you've done all that, we have this powerful ringing D chord when we strum the open strings. So although the strings technically are different notes than before, um, I'm still going to refer to them as E, A, D, G, B, E, because otherwise it's just going to be very confusing with all the uh, yeah, D strings and A strings in there, so yeah, I'm just going to refer to the strings with their usual names. With the tuning done, next we need a capo on the seventh fret, and then we're good to go. Normally I'd recommend to retune the guitar after having put on the capo because the pressure of the capo um, slightly distorts the strings and um, this might make it sound off, but since both of our guitars sound off now, uh, it should be fine. So just remember to retune the guitar with the capo on when you want to play along to the original song, okay? So let's take a look at the chords. Um, first chord is going to be a B minor, which is played by either pressing down with our thumb onto the second fret of the E string, okay? Or you could um, rest it on there so it doesn't ring at all, okay? So um, either press down onto the second fret related to the capo on the E string or um, mute it. Then second fret on the A and D string. 1st fret on the G string and then B and E string are both open. B minor, 1st chord. Next chord is going to be a G, which is muted low E string, and then 3 on the A string with our ring finger, 2 on the D string with our middle finger, 1 on the G string with our index finger, and then open B and E string. Next chord is going to be an A, which is just all of the strings open and let it ring. Um, sometimes he plays the alternative with the index finger on the first fret of the G string, so for some hammer on variations. Okay? So the chord progression throughout almost the entire song is going to be 
one bar of B minor, one bar of G, and then two bars of A. Okay? Um, the strumming pattern that I'd recommend if you just want to strum along while singing is going to be down, down. Already works. So the strumming pattern down, down, up, down, up, down, up on each chord and then twice on this A chord. Okay? But of course you want to learn the version with the hammer-ons and there the strumming is going to be like this. Okay, so we've got down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so you hear that? Um, we always accentuate the single down strums, okay? And we do that, we always do these accentuated down strums on the hammer-on and pull-off variations because this is where the magic happens, where we play the hammer-ons, which make this song sound so unique and special. So let's take a look at these hammer-ons. We play our B minor, start off by lifting up our middle finger from the second fret of the A string, hammer on with the first down strum then do down up, then do uh, lift up our ring finger from the second fret of the D string and with the next down strum we hammer that on as well and then do another down up, okay? So we do, okay? So down, hammer on, down, up, down, hammer on, down, up. And um, the strumming is really light, so you don't really rush through the strings, but you just gently brush them, okay? I usually do down up with my thumb and my index finger in an alternate movement, alternating movement. Okay, so down, hammer on, down up, down, hammer on, down up, okay? Then we switch to our G chord, but um, have an open D string in there, okay? And we do... of the D string, do another down up, and then we lift up every finger except for the index finger on the first fret of the G string, strum it, pull it off by really clinging into the string and then pulling it off, okay? Down up, next down strum we do a hammer on, down up, okay, so you can practice that always on the accentuated down strum. We pull off on the next accentuated down strum, we hammer it on. And in between those down strums with the hammer on and pull off variations, we do down up. Okay, so. Okay, so um, all together it should sound like this. This is the basic pattern of hammer-ons for the song, um, but there are also some other variations that he sometimes does and that you can fill in to make this even more special. So everything until the G stays the same, so we do on the B minor. And then on the G, we do a hammer-on right on the first down strum. Okay, so we pretty much do the same thing twice, just hammer-on down up, hammer-on down up. That is the first variation we can do on the G. Second variation is we hammer on with our first strum. And then with the second down strum, we pull off from the second fret of the D string again, okay? So we've got this. And on our <clears throat> A chord, the other variation that we can do is we just do the pull off hammer on thing the same way as before. But then after the second pull off, we do Okay, so we put our finger back onto the first fret of the G string and then to the third fret of the G string with the other up strum. Okay, so on the A we've got this variation. Okay, um, so all together the other variations that you can fill in can sound like this.
And that is almost the entire song. Only, only irregularity about the chord progression is going to be the outro, which starts with didn't know when I started running, but I was running from myself or something like that, I don't really know. Um, we start off on our open A chord. After that we play a G to a B minor. I like playing it with the bass, thumb bass in there because it sounds fuller. Back to an A. We play each chord for one bar with a strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so once on each that chord. That gives us this chord progression, so starting off on A. progression with that strumming pattern until the end of the song till it slowly fades out and that already is the whole song so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial you understood every part of it and that you're now able to play the song so if you did enjoy it please remember to leave a like and check out my channel for more free guitar lessons hope to see you there again thanks for watching and goodbye